What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about another place where you can go and visit the dead. Last week we talked about the Capuchin Catacombs where I actually went and this week we're going to be talking about the ATM Caves, also known as the Caves of the Crystal Crypt. Now this is not somewhere that I've personally been but I kind of discovered it when I was doing some fact checking and making sure I knew what I was talking about in regards to the Capuchin Catacombs. So I wanted to do a video today kind of telling you guys about it. Now if you didn't pay attention in history class, Belize is the home of a lot of Mayan ruins and the ATM caves are also a Mayan ruin. In fact, they are a very sacred Mayan ceremonial and sacrificial site, meaning that there are dead bodies in the caves to this day. Now what I thought was really interesting is that the Mayans thought that this cave was the entrance to the underworld or as we would call it, to hell. Because the Mayans thought that this was the entrance to hell, they believed that they could send their most spiritual people into these caves to perform ceremonies and offer sacrifices, and that because they were closer to the underworld, the gods in the underworld would hear them and be appeased by them. One of the ceremonies that the Mayans would do involved bloodletting, which basically is cutting yourself or injuring yourself in some way and sacrificing the blood. And they would drip the blood onto a paper, which was made out of bark, they would put it in a special little bowl, they would light it on fire, and then the smoke of that was part of their spirit going to the gods. Another thing interesting about the cave itself is that the Mayans actually carved different parts of the formations into things. So there are pieces of rock that have been formed into altars. There are parts of stalactites and stalagmites that have been carved so that when light shines onto them, they project animals or human faces onto the walls. Now, if the regular ceremonies and the bloodletting didn't satisfy the gods, then the Mayans felt like they had no choice but to move to actual human sacrifice. And the ATM caves are one of the places where the Mayans actually performed ritual sacrifices. In the ATM caves, there have been a lot of human remains found, but there have been 14 fairly intact full skeletons found as well. Now seven of those 14 were kids under like 18. They were children and four of those seven were infants. Now if you think that's really cruel, the reasons that the Mayans used infants over adults is because they believed that infants were more pure and they would be like more of a pure sacrifice to the gods. Out of all the skeletons though, there's one that's particularly famous and she is known as the Crystal Maiden. The Crystal Maiden was an 18 year old who was apparently killed in a really brutal way. They believe this because not only was there a blow to her head, but that blow broke two of her vertebrae and she had been disemboweled at some point. If you don't know what that means, go ask your science teacher tomorrow. What's made the Crystal Maiden so interesting though is that where her body fell when she was sacrificed, it stayed there for so long that it became part of the cave floor. The minerals in the cave started forming over her bones, creating a crystallized appearance, making her bones look thick. And she's actually stuck to the cave floor now. Now, of course, in light of all of this, the caves themselves are thought to be quite haunted. Every tour guide kind of has their own tales of hauntings in the cave. But some common things that tour guides have seen include lights, especially coming from the area where the maiden is, voices, shaking, shadows, and the feeling of someone passing through you. No thank you. Now at the beginning of the video, I said that this is a place where you can visit the dead, and you can. You can actually go to Belize, you can get with a tour guide, and they will take you to see these caves, all the archeological wonders, and also the bodies. But if you wanna do this, just note, because I did the research, I looked at the flight information, you're going to have to hike about 45 minutes through the jungle. You're going to have to forge a river three times, including swimming it. You're also going to have to swim into the cave. You're going to have to be okay going through small cracks and crevices, up ladders, and the thing I'm not sure I'm okay with, encountering scorpion spiders. I hate spiders, and scorpion spiders can get to be about two feet large. No, they're completely harmless apparently, but you will probably see some in the cave and I'm not sure I can handle that. Bodies, sure, any day. Scorpion spiders, no thank you. So there you have it. That is the ATM caves. If you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up below. Let me know if you want more because I never know if people are actually interested in this kind of stuff or if it's just my crazy brain. Also, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel down below. I'm putting out a new video every single day in October for Vlogoween and I will see you guys next time. Bye!